everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a high-end luxury travel trailer. This one is built like a fifth wheel. This is the 2023 Primetime Lacrosse. Model is 3375FE. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the lacrosse and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome, beautiful primetime lacrosse. I swear to God, it looks like a fifth wheel inside of this travel trailer. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good guys. The weather's actually really nice today in Florida. For Florida. For Florida, yeah in june um but i'm so excited to take a look at this lacrosse guys we full-time rv i could totally see us full timing in this it is definitely roomy enough for all that here's what i will say will has an alliance paradigm yeah big boy there's some features about this travel trailer that they do better than that okay that's what's really exciting will let's begin model is the lacrosse 3375 fe the actual tip tip length is 38 feet 2 inches the dry weight is 8,738 pounds, and the hitch weight is 1,080 pounds. Will, it's a big, heavy tongue it weight. It is, huh? yeah. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to have those 1,200-pound bars. And the reason why, Will, is because of the double front slide outs. Right. Um, right up front here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks and your batteries go there. Okay. Look at this front fiberglass front cap. Right. You know what I'm saying? It looks very much like a... um. Like it's uh, very good for aerodynamics, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Really nice up here. And what I do love is the front windshield. For sure. Wait until we're on the inside and you guys see that. It's fantastic. Okay. You got the nice LED lights there and a black diamond plate rock guard there. Cool. It protrudes out as well, Will. Just making it very unique looking, right. you know? Right, right. Coming on down the side here, it's a big old travel trailer. So you are going to want those furion side cameras as well as the rear camera for sure and it is prepped for that not only that storage on the outside here all right then coming on down will look at that electric stabilizing jacks very nice all you got to do is push that button okay now even though you have this huge slide out right here ruining your campsite area you still at least have a very nice, nice. power awning with led lights and that definitely makes up for it for sure and then coming on down here we have another power awning with ah, LED lights nice. there. nice. Right here, we do have a place for you to leash up your furry friend. Look at these solid steps right here. And look at how the solid steps are over the wheel. Right. Way. You couldn't have a floor plan like this until the solid steps came out. Exactly. Love that feature. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. ST225-75R15. Very nice with the easy toe extra long dexter axles there okay right here we have another place for you to leash up your furry friends it's also a beer opener Psh, america john cena external bond construction bonded aluminum structure okay and the extended season thermal package cool. very nice nice big grab handle to get up and then right here well we have speakers on the outside a v bracket to mount a tv and power and coax for the tv for the outside awesome yes sir Coming around the back, Sir William. We do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Very nice. And again, prep for that Furion backup camera there. Okay. I'm loving it. You know what else I'm loving, Will? What's that? Power, baby. Heck yeah. We got that AC blowing in here, 50 amp unit. And then right underneath the power wheel, that's where you dump your sewer outlet. Nice. Finishing up. Nice exterior storage. This definitely makes up for that front a little bit. Right. Because if it wasn't for that, you'd have no storage. I know. Right here's your water heater, 10 gallon DSI. Okay. Okay. And then to wrap it all up, Will. Yeah, see no storage here either. Here is what's nice, like a fifth wheel. It's all enclosed. You got your battery disconnect, fresh water, city fill, outdoor shower, Potable water fell. Potable. Potable. Yes, sir. Very nice. 
Well, well, the outside of the little cross looks great, but the insides look even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Oh man, it's Black Fury on air conditioning. <laughs> nice. Dude, I'm telling you, guys, we are sponsored by Lipper, right? Right. And Lipper owns Furion. I don't even care. The Furion air conditioning units work the best. <laughs> okay, up front is that living area. Then you have the kitchen here. Coming back to the bedroom. And the bathroom all the way in the back. Where do you want to start today? We're starting up front. Now, here's what I will say. The Furion isn't the quietest, but let me tell you something. When you're camping in Florida, turn that music up yeah. and let the cold air... Well, stand under that. Okay. This episode is sponsored by Furion. It does feel good. Backup cameras, refrigerators, and air conditioning units. If you need anything, go to Furion.com. There you go. Yes, sir. Dude, that smile is what you can't pay for. Right. Well, we're starting up here. Okay. Okay, check this out. Loving this. Tons of cabinetry. This is almost like a front living layout in a fifth wheel. Yeah. Now, Will, why would somebody want a travel trailer over a fifth wheel? Biggest reason would be to keep the bed of your truck clear. You know, exactly. be able to put bikes back there and all your gear and all that good stuff. Now, I want to say something. Yeah. Technically, you can tow the, like my F-150 could tow this. I right. can tow 10,000 pounds. Right. I'm not towing a trailer this heavy yeah. with an F-150, but a 250 for sure, yeah. right? Yeah. And to get a front living room on a fifth wheel, like you're going to want a 350, you know what I'm yeah. saying? With that mm -hmm. major tongue Probably weight. even, a, or maybe even a dually. Right. Um, right here, again, I love that front windshield. And then you push this button, Will, and this TV comes all the way up. Not only that, well, look at all the countertop space right. around. You know, you can just put your video game, you know, if you're a gamer or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got all of this, the TV's right here, and then you got your storage right there. I do like the button showing where you don't need to stick your hand in the cabinet. Right. Right here, Furion sound system. And then a fireplace. Well, that fireplace does produce heat from electricity. There you go. Right over here, we do have the very nice Allure collection. So nice. Yeah. Cup holders here. We got your uh, remote control holders there. Very nice. Well, this uh, comfortable sofa. Now, theater seats aren't facing the TV. Womp womp. Yeah. There is only so much you can do. Right with a travel trailer this size. But again, it does get the job done. And then directly across, we have a very nice sofa. Now I'm loving the color schemes they're doing in here. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yes, it does. Not only that, right here, we do have the pullout bed. Okay. Well, well you're gonna show them? You know why? Because America. Because smash that thumbs up, that's why. Yes. People want to see it. And guess what, well, sometimes we get lazy. Right. And we don't want to show everybody, but you know what? With the AC blasting the way it is, right? I think America deserves it's it. Thanks to Furion. The, Thank the, you to the, Furion. The bed's coming out. There it is. Well, that's what we call this bed's for the non-paying customer. Yeah. And obviously, it's wrapped up in plastic, and it'll fluff up a little bit. It'll probably fluff up a little bit. You know. Yes, sir. Gets the job done. Then show everybody this dinette. All right. Over here on the dinette, you have windows all the way around. You do have these like accordion style shades, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but um, dinette right there, it looks a little tight it's to a, me. It's a very tight dinette. Yeah. Not only that, well, there is carpet on the slide out. Okay. You guys know how we feel about that. Right. And then Will, look at this beautiful kitchen. Right. Before you show us the kitchen, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> well, why am I doing the MSRP right here? I don't know. MSRP on this travel trailer here is 75,276 pounds. I meant dollars. Oh, are we in England? Right. Hello, governor. MSRP. Sale price, Miss Jen. Please put the sale price right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. <laughs> and Will, I don't care what that sale price says. 
I know we can get everybody a lot better sale price than that. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash madscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to a member of my team and let them know that you want a primetime lacrosse will. We sell primetime in all 14 locations so I know we'll be able to get everybody the absolute best price in America. And not only that, we do have some more locations coming in yeah. the near, near future. So make sure you subscribe. Will, show us this kitchen. Okay. Guys, this is a travel trailer with a kitchen island, which is really, really awesome. You got storage here. Nice big Furion microwave right there. Great backsplash, Furion three burner cooktop, solid surface countertops as well. Mm. You guys heard the MSRP, you know it's, it's, it's a little high pricey end. for a oh, travel it's trailer. Very but again, pricey, yeah. You're seeing high end finishes like this. Great storage here. Yes, sir. And then right over here, Ever Chill refrigerator. That one. Now, this is the only thing that they didn't use Furion. Wow, wow. Furion ACs. My great cooktop. Oven too. Oven as well. Did I show yeah, I showed the freezer. Storage here. That's great storage. Yeah, huge storage. So there's no pantry, but that would kind of act as it. Here on um uh, oven right there. A little bit of storage. And then up top, a little more. A little coffee nook right here with power. And storage right there. Yes, sir. And then again, kitchen island in a travel trailer. I love that. Great countertop space here. Nice big single bowl sink right here with an extension faucet. And then you got storage right there. Yes, sir. Drawer right here. And storage there. Not only that, well, I'm loving these little light fixtures like there. Things. Yeah, I was looking for the light or the switch, but can't find it. It's okay, well. Not only that, look at the head height Will has in here. Right, head height is great in here. Yes, sir. It doesn't feel like a travel trailer at all. Yes, sir. Let's get some of there that ducted go. air no, going through. All right, Will, Can check. I our bathroom first? Oh, no, let's go to the uh, bathroom. Okay. Stand in that shower, sir. Big step up, but it's got high ceilings in here, and they put a skylight in in a great spot. Great width, awesome depth, honestly. Little, uh, chair right there step like that says ding that's a shower test seal of approval sure is. not only that well look at this dual sink area i'm right. loving it the lights aren't even on in here i know it's Why still super bright is that the switch right there no nope. don't matter oh don't. it's on the other side right don't oh snap liquefy our brand of black tank chemical guys you can get this at primepoopposition.com yes thank you to everybody who's been buying it Look at all this storage here behind the mirrored medicine Great. cabinet. Wow, nice double sinks right here. Well, by the time this video is out, you can get this in liquid form or the drop, easy to use drop in pots. Yes. Whatever works best for you. I'm loving a double sink in a travel trailer like yeah. this. And can then right switch? over here. Oh. Look at that. Prep for a stackable washer and dryer in here. Yeah. Very nice. That's awesome. Okay, so these lights are a pain in the butt, but they're also motion lights, right? Yes, they are motion lights. Well, there you go, so that's kind of cool. Just leave them on. Right. Oh, man. Well, I can't believe how bad this is. <laughs> Psych, this is the primus of pooping position. Bing! Well, one of the best I've ever sat in a really trailer. Is, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very, very nice. And then to wrap up the master bedroom, Will, look at this. We have a very nice king size bed. Good looking headboard there. Nice windows on both sides. And then look at all the storage here. Tons of storage. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, we're sorry about the audio, but you know what, Will? There you go. Sorry about the audio, but you know what? It's worth it. Yeah. Guys, if you're not buying Liquify and we're filming all these units. And um, the heat. And the heat, I don't know what you're doing. Thank you to everybody who buys yes, Liquify. Yeah, that's the best way to support us, guys. Storage right there. Yep. 
right here we do have a very another fireplace again does produce heat from electricity nice drawers right here then drawers right there and then underneath here will we have even more storage there cool very nice will an overall fantastic travel trailer that's huge luxury and nice well will that's it that's the review thank you guys so much for watching before everybody leaves it's time we give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like will what do we do first uh three things we dislike yes my first one's on the outside okay dislike number one will as much as I love the inside of this floor plan, you get no pasture storage at all. Right. Little to no storage, not on this side, not on the other side. Uh, it's a dislike compared to some of the other brands. That's just dislike number one. Will, it's all a give and a take. It sure is. What's dislike number two? Great. Well, that's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Dislike number two, there's not a lot in here, but you guys know we don't like when the TV is not directly across from Correct. the theater seat. Especially, not just the theater seats, but that sofa as yeah. well. There is no direct looking at right. that television. Right. That's going to be number two. And then number three, well, I, I hate saying this. It's an easy one, two, and three. It is. Small dinette yeah. area. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even really knocking them for it because, like, everything else is so great. But it's more just bringing attention to, like, hey, if a dinette is super important to you, right. this doesn't have it. If I own this unit, I would take this table out, turn it sideways, yeah. and use it as a desk area. I agree. Well, that's three things we don't like about this unit. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May okay. I go first? Sure. I love this huge entertainment center. I do too. I love a nice big screen TV on a televator. I love a fireplace and tons of storage. But the most importantly, Will, I love having this big front windshield. Yeah. And I love that aerodynamic design front cap. I think it's fantastic. Right. That is number one. Will, what's number two? It's like number two for me is like having, number two. I mean, like is going to be having this um, island in this kitchen. The whole kitchen really all together. The whole kitchen, yeah. But you have tons of countertop space in here. I love, love, love having the island. All the appliances look really nice and residential. I love it. That's number two, Will. Mm -hmm. And then number three is going to be back here. Okay. One, we got to give credit to the king size bed. Yes. But two is going to be this fantastic bathroom. Without a doubt. You know, we got liquefied sitting on the nice double sink, huge shower, prep for a stackable washer dryer. Definitely one of the best bathrooms I've ever seen in a travel trailer. And we can't forget the primus, the pooping position. Right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting a primetime lacrosse or any RV, all you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us, Will, and a member of our team will get everybody the absolute best price in America. That's right. Will, what do you say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I absolutely love this floor plan. I love how it's great for full timing. And uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody so much for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time.